Today, I wanna to talk about some tips as it relates to creating your online freebie. Typically, people, when they think of freebies, they'll say a masterclass, a webinar, a workshop, a checklist, a ebook, things like that. And while those things are really important, there's some other tips that aren't talked about along the way. So let's dive in and chat about them. First thing is, when you're creating a freebie, you need to understand one of two lanes that you're focused on or going down. Let's, let me break that down. So if you're creating a freebie for growth, that's one lane. If you're creating a freebie for a launch, that's something totally different. The reason being is when you create a freebie for growth, you can create something with a quick win, like a checklist or an ebook or something like that. When you're creating a freebie for a launch, one of the best things you can do is get people in your energy. Because when you get people in your energy, they see why it is that they're going to want to take that next step with you, which is perfect for a launch. For me, some of the best ways to get people in my energy is masterclasses, workshops, or challenges. And I find that those work so well for launches. So as you're considering a launch freebie, consider a way that you can showcase your energy, people get access to you, and they see all the goodness that you have to offer. The second thing you wanna consider when you're creating a freebie is to give your audience buy-in. I love polls online, and you can create polls for your story. You can make a post and say comment A or B, but give your audience buy-in. Let's say, for example, you're good at two things, right? You're good at helping people eat healthy, but you're also good at helping them work out. So you may say something like, would you like to um, know more about how to eat healthy on a busy schedule, or would you like to know more about how to work out on a busy schedule? The truth is, you're going to offer both at some point or another, but what you're doing is polling to see what it is that your audience is most interested in, right? Right here and right now. You can even take it as far as giving them buy-in as far as the name that you want to pick for the upcoming workshop. Let's say that they're like, I want to know how to eat healthier on a busy schedule. So you may say something like, okay, perfect. Based on the poll results that you guys picked the other day, I'm going to teach a class on how to eat um, healthier on a busy schedule. Would you like the class to be focused on five tips to eat healthy on the run or three strategies to overcome your mindset to make healthy eating natural or whatever it may be. I just, that's off the top of my head. But the point is, again, you're giving them that buy-in. And the reason that this is important is because when you officially launch whatever freebie or whatever next step you're going to take, people feel inclined to take that next step because they feel like they gave a part of it. They feel like they're a part of it. And they feel like this can actually support them because you're speaking to exactly what it is that they need. A thing to make sure you're paying attention to is when you pick that name, you want to make sure that you pick a name that's speaking directly to what it is you're going to teach. Don't pick a name that says six steps to strategic sales and then you don't teach anything about selling. Make sure your name speaks to exactly what it is that you're going to teach and make sure you deliver what you say you're going to deliver. So if you say six steps to strategic sales just because it sounds catchy or whatever but you only get four or five steps, that's out of integrity and people will notice. So really make sure that you're paying attention to the names that you're picking that is speaking to exactly what you're going to teach and that you follow through. The next tip I have for you is to create it within a reasonable time frame. Do not create a freebie, a workshop, or a masterclass and promise it, you know, eight weeks down the road or even four weeks down the road. For me, I usually like to do it within about a 14 day time period because if you say I'm going to have this amazing workshop on how to eat healthy on a busy schedule or whatever, and then you don't do it for four or six or eight weeks, your people are kind of just waiting in the water and that may inspire them to start Googling what other workshops are similar in topic. And then in turn, they may not show up or they may forget about your freebie, your workshop, your check list, whatever it is altogether. The next tip I have for you is to hype your audience up. If you know that what you're getting ready to create is super dope, super exciting, and something that they need to get, get their hands on, hype them up. Get them excited about it. Let them know it's coming. Build a countdown. Talk about it each day. Show up and get excited about it because you're doing two things when you do this. Not only are you exciting your audience about it so that they're ready to take that next step and give it a chance, right? Give you their email address or sign up or show up. You're also putting yourself in a good energetic state so that when you create, you're creating from that pos positive energetic state. And therefore, you're really bringing the great, amazing things that you have to offer to your tribe. And that brings me to my final point. 
Never, ever, ever get too scared to give too much value, which is so different than too much content. For me, I like to over deliver as far as the value that I'm bringing to my audience because people are like, man, if I got this for free, what could I possibly get for paid? But I also at the same time, I'm not going to overwhelm them with so much information that they get in like information overload and then take no next steps, make no decisions, all right? So understand that you get to bring as much value as possible because that allows people to trust you, that allows them to see your expertise, and that allows them to be more inspired to take that next step. So that is what I have for you about freebies. As you're continuing to create your freebies, continue to think of these little tips along the way because this is what's going to help your freebie to be successful. I'm going to let you dive in and get started creating that freebie that your audience is going to be so excited about and you're going to be in such a great energetic state to create. If you're looking for more tools, strategies, and support on the journey to creating an outstanding opt-in, I have just the thing for you. If you use the link below, you can get access to my upcoming workshop called Six Steps to Stand Out as a Highly Sought After Coach. You are going to be so grateful to be there. So use that link below so that you can sign up for this totally free masterclass and you'll be so grateful that you did.